this year as well as just the, the team dynamic overall this season? Yeah, definitely very tough to go out on a loss, I think. You know, we all really wanted to get those three points um, for ourselves, for the fans, for the community, for the club, um, and go out on a high. Um, this year has been quite challenging. Um, we've been through some things collectively, um, but I think this group's resiliency has shown through and um, we've stuck together and um, I'm really proud of this team. We're gonna go uh, to Julia Poe first. Julia, I'll leave your line open if you have a few. Thanks, Jackie. Hi, Tony, thank you so much for the time tonight. Um, you've been with the Pride for so long now. You know, when you look back at past seasons uh, versus this one, what do you think maybe is different about how this, this year stands out and how do you think that the team can kind of learn and grow from this year? I think this is the tightest, closest team at the Pride so far, um, and that's been really cool to to see and witness, you know, being here for so long. Um, and it's been amazing to be a part of, I think, the connections that have been made throughout the whole team um, are are wonderful, and um, everyone's friends, and, and we're close, and I think that's really um, amazing because it's something we haven't had before in the past. and. Uh, I think, you know, moving forward, that's going to carry us a long way. We spoke to Becky earlier, and I'm just kind of wondering, you know, from the time that she came in as an England head coach, how do you feel that she impacted the culture for the Pride, how things were on and off the field, and just kind of what was her impact on this team coming in the way that she did? I think just like a lot of positivity and, and getting us rallied around each other and together, and that's been really awesome to see. Um, yeah, she brings a lot of really good energy as well. And um, I think, you know, we all feed off of that. And um, I think she'll definitely be missed. With you were with the Players Association, how has that impacted the last month for you, for the team? Just kind of what's your outlook, especially with the news that we saw from the Players Association about the, the demands of the league next day? Um, I'm just like really hopeful, honestly, that uh, things are moving in the right direction um, and pretty quickly. I think that's that's really encouraging um, and I'm excited to hopefully get, you know, this CBA done uh, pretty soon and um, get the things that, you know, us as players have, you know, we deserve and have been longing for for such a long time. And um like I said, it's really encouraging to see that, you know, all these demands have been met and, and we're on the right track. Go to Austin now. Austin, same thing. I'll leave you, your line open. Hey, Tony. Um, we just talked to Phoebe like, a couple minutes ago, and she was talking about how you and, and some of the veteran players have really helped some of the younger players along, especially through this kind of year that, it, as you said, has been kind of tumultuous. Uh, how have you kind of taken in that leadership role, especially since you've been here since the very beginning? I think just to kind of encourage people when I can, when I, you know, see that they're down or anything like that, just uh, try to be um, a shoulder to lean on and an ear that will listen and um, a cheerleader when I can and, and just kind of pump people up when they seem down. I think that's something that, um, you know, I can always control. Um, and I think that's something I've really tried to, to try to do. Austin, anything else? All right. I'm good. Cool. All right. Uh, well, Julia, back to Julia for our last one. <laughs> Make it good, Julia. No pressure, baby. <laughs> um, you know, just kind of looking at the off season, especially with a new ownership group, what do you as a leader on this team hope to see out of the coaching search and just in general out of investment from the new ownership group? Uh, I think just a thorough search and finding the right fit for us. Um, I think, you know, the turnover here, um, it's been a lot. And I think just finding that missing piece of the puzzle is something that we so desperately need. And um, I have no doubt that whoever they bring in will, will be great. I, um, I feel very hopeful and encouraged by the things that the, the um, ownership is doing so far. So um, I'm excited for that.